Well, hello everyone. We're looking at ways in this lockdown to keep healthy body, soul and spirit using the acronym SEEDS. And today, Dr. Mark Morrissey from the Australian Catholic University where he lectures in behavioral and health science. Uh, he's come to talk to us about E, which is for exercise. So hi, Mark. Hi, Anne. Oh, Mark, during lockdown, it's been so hard to keep up our exercise regime. Why is it important that we should still do it? Well, aside from developing the strength and fitness to better handle all those day-to-day -day physical tasks that we've got, there's a large body of research that uh, highlights the benefits of exercise. So moderate levels of physical activity have been shown to improve things like blood pressure, uh, cholesterol levels, uh, reduce the risk of some cancers, improve heart health, prevent type 2 diabetes, and also improve things like bone health. And in fact, high levels of regular physical activity even show greater health benefits and reduce risks of chronic diseases, as well as keeping away some of those unwanted COVID killers. So research shows us that physical activity is not just beneficial for our physical health, but uh, is also really beneficial for our mental health as well. At university, we've got a saying that if exercise was a pill, it would be the most widely prescribed and beneficial drug worldwide for diseased health and well-being. Oh, yeah, if there was a pill, I'd definitely get one of those, but there isn't. So what can we do right now? Well, the good news is that you don't have to train like an Olympic athlete to start getting some positive benefits of the exercise. So any exercise that you can do will be helpful. I think one of the key things is to try not to do too much too soon all at once. So start where you're at and gradually build up over time. Why not make a regular appointment with someone else? So at the moment, our restrictions uh, allow us to exercise with others from our household or with one other person outside your household. And I think having that accountability by that regular appointment can really help with the apathy, apathy and avoid just letting it slide because you don't feel like it. So even though any exercise is beneficial, ideally what you're aiming for is to build up to doing something that makes you kind of puff or making it, making it more difficult to talk for about 30 to 45 minutes, four to five times a week. Um, and if you can incorporate some kind of weight or resistance exercise, so something involving a push-pull or supporting your body weight uh, a few times a week on top of that, then that's even better. So one of the things you can do is set up a small circuit at home um, that incorporates some really simple exercises with minimal equipment that can start doing that more strength type training. So if you've got a set of stairs, you can do some step ups on that. Uh, other things like uh, body weight lunges or sit ups or even some squats balancing to add an extra dimension or even lifting those shopping bags out to the side or overhead can help. And if that doesn't get you excited, uh, there's absolutely plenty of online uh, resources out there that you can choose from. So things like Just Dance videos, uh, there's plenty of exercise apps and loads of exercise classes and ideas that you can choose from. So if you're really keen, you can even jump online and join things like Strava or Swift where you can use GPS technology to track your training, analyze how you're going, keep you motivated and connect with others here and all around the world. So you can even uh, train with a whole bunch of people from other countries virtually if you want to take it that far. Wow, um, that's yeah. like going on a holiday overseas and having exercise at the same time. Sounds absolutely, good. absolutely. <laughs> uh, and the other thing to remember is um, don't uh, overlook those opportunities for what we call incidental exercise, which is exercise that you incorporate in your daily kind of activity. So maybe instead of grabbing a leaf blower, you can grab a broom and sweep up those leaves in the driveway or do some gardening outside that um, involves some extra physical um, exertion. And especially for us at the moment when we're working from home, um, be aware of how much time you spend sitting at the computer or your desk. So one idea uh, to help incorporate some incidental exercise is to set an alarm for every hour or so. Get up, go for a walk around the house, go for a walk out uh, to the letterbox, get some sunshine or around the block, or you know, just do some star jumps or um, climb the stairs a few times. So get outdoors as much as you can walk the dog, kick the ball around, jog. Um, and if you need some extra incentive to get out there and do some exercise, then maybe uh, an idea is to make that local cafe your destination and you can grab a takeaway coffee uh, halfway through. That way, I guess you get to support a local business as well as getting the benefits of some exercise. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. Thank you, Dr. Mark. I mean, you showed us the why, you've showed us some how, and I think we all just need to go for a walk. So, hey, come on, let's go for a walk. Let's do it. Sounds good.
see you guys and go for a walk bye